the face scanner, SNAP. Now, all installations are complete. Let's use SNAP to run a scan. The scan can be divided into a smile line scan phase and a bite scan phase. In the smile line scan phase, the overall face and smile line are scanned and the bite scan data are used to match the face data with the T-Stone model data. We have a model who can help us with the scanning process. I will be explaining how the product works as I scan her face. The smile line scan is the first step. After running the program, click the scan smile line icon. Position the scanner so that the front of the face is on screen. Then, press the scan button to start scanning. When the eye zone enters the guide zone, the scan button is activated. During scanning, the yellow bar should be positioned in the middle of the distance control guide that maintains the distance between face and scanner. Capture data by rotating the scanner towards the right side of the patient's face. Then, capture data by rotating the scanner towards the left side of the patient's face. Complete the scan by rotating the scanner back to a frontal view of the patient's face. Press the stop button to proceed to the next step. Scan data is merged after several seconds. Was the scanning process too quick? Since the infrared camera built within SNAP scans the patient's face quickly and accurately, such a simple scan can be used to acquire precise data. The Face Scanner, SNAP. Once the scanning is complete, it is necessary to prepare for a bite scan on the chair side. Let's check in order. Attach the bite plate to the target plate. Prepare the impression material and spread it into the tray. Allow the patient to bite down on the impression material and proceed to scan the scan targets. It is recommended to use a scannable bite registration material. If a scannable bite registration material is not used, spray powder may be applied. When removing the bite plate from the target plate, remove it by twisting it in either the left or right direction and pulling. We recommend using up to three bite plates per target plate. The face scanner, snap. Once the preparation process is complete, run a bite scan. As described earlier, the reason for running a target scan and a bite scan is to make sure that the face data acquired through scanning the smile line match the position indicated by the teeth model data. First, click the scan bite icon in the scan list window. Then, position the eye zone in the guide zone and press the scan button to proceed with the scan. Scanning is performed by moving the scanner slightly in the up, down, left, and right directions until the target scan ends automatically. When the bite scan ends, after all targets are captured, the smile line scan data and the bite scan are aligned automatically into a single file. Now, all scans are complete. Click the save file icon to save the project file in the desired folder and decide whether or not to share the file via email. At this point, users can register their email account to conduct a quick transfer. The Face Scanner, SNAP. What are your thoughts after using our Face Scanner to run a scan? Do you think it is quick and convenient? DOF conducted a survey and more than 80% of patients who participated responded that they were satisfied with the face scanner used for their treatment at the clinic. SNAP is no longer a choice. It is a must. The face scanner, SNAP.